Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here with another Zombie Night Terror Challenge Guide. This one for the challenge Head Anatomy. Kill the cowards hiding near reception without using a sacrifice in the level Night of the Lupus. Uh, cute horror reference there. Alright, so uh, you want to start the level by just letting your creeper, or crawler if you prefer, kill this guy and get the jumping ability. Now the key is, these are the cowards hiding in reception. There's no way in there. So you 100% have to get this infection vector. But you have to do it without letting any of your guys get sacrificed. You have to do it without losing any DNA. This is a bit futzy. So, uh, what you want to do is, it's not going to be obvious, but uh, the goal here is to jump, and then jump again, and then kill all these guys, earning back the money you spent jumping. Because the only way to get there is to jump here, go back, jump here, then jump here, and then you'll climb right into the thing. Now that costs six, but you're going to be killing guys the whole time, so it's not really going to matter. So let's walk through this. You are a creeper, you jump on that wall. Alright, you jump here. Ta-da! Alright, he's dead. Now let's kill all of these guys. And notice we're basically full up on DNA all over again. So don't make another creeper, don't waste DNA. So you cannot use the sacrifice to get DNA back. Uh, jump the creeper up here. You can't jump through that floor, so don't don't even try. All right, do 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 do. Jump through. Awesome. He's gonna automatically climb this wall, fall down there, and set that to blow up, and he'll destroy this. Awesome, right? All right, so now all of the doors are open and they're gonna stay open. So you've got seven out of eight, that's really good. But you're gonna earn a bunch of that back right now by making yourself a second creeper. Oof, actually you don't even have to make yourself a second creeper. What am I saying? Uh, all you have to do is jump over here. That's right, you're gonna use one creeper for all of this because that's how effective creepers are. They're, they're basically the superstar of the uh, Zompocalypse. All right, so he goes there, climbs through and then he starts murdering, because they can fall as far as they want without getting killed. Notice how you're earning back all that? And that's my favorite thing in the game so far. The lady who pushes the wall, the wheelchair lady after you, and then you cut off the wheelchair lady's head, and she does not come back to the zombie, because you cut her head off. Alright, so watch the arc, watch the arc. When you're high enough, jump across. But if you jump even a bit too high, you're going to hit the roof of that and fall all the way back down, wasting your jumping money. Climb up. And now you've got the infection vector, and you've killed all the people. So, you know, two for one. Uh, dead, dead, dead. So now you've got the infection vector. Uh, turn this guy into a zombie. Here's why, because if they decide to run this way and open the door, there's zombies waiting for them. See? Nothing they can do. Uh, problem solved. All right, now you're going to need this uh, explosion right here. So now that you've succeeded... You're free to use a little more DNA, make yourself another creeper, jump across, and he's going to kill everybody in there. I mean, you can watch it if you want to. You don't have to. This is kind of brutal, actually. Oh. Yeah, zombies can only attack one person at a time. Creepers can do whatever the hell they want. Uh, that's that's why we love creepers. All right. Uh, so let's make the creeper jump. Uh, we have to wait for him to call, come all the way back around. Sorry about that. But, so he's going to come back around, he's going to kill everybody in this room, really just everybody up here. It's going to be a blast. Uh, okay. There we go. She made it through that door, which is pretty impressive of her. You can blow her up if you want to, but I kind of admire her tenacity. So, uh, let's not. Alright, so you blow him up. Sad to blow up a creeper, I know, but don't worry about it. And now, you make one more creeper... And that creeper's job is to finish the level for you. Because while zombies can't even survive this fall, they can only survive, like, from here height, uh, the creeper can survive any fall. And he's just finished the level. All right. Uh, so that's how you get... Oh, well, let's confirm that I got it. But uh, let's check. Finish. Challenge completed. All right. 
that's how you get the head anatomy challenge. Uh, if you're having trouble with the level, I hope this helped. And let's see. Uh, yeah, if you need any other help, you can find it elsewhere on the